Is the iPhone 17 Pro Max actually worse than the iPhone 15 for night mode time lapse? Let's find out. But here's the iPhone 15 on the left and the iPhone 17 on the right. Straight away, the 17 definitely brings out more of the Milky Way gas, which is impressive. But side by side, you'll notice the 15 is holding on to more stars overall. The stars on the 15 also look sharper and are more defined. On the 17, they're a little softer, almost smoothed over, especially around the edges of the core. Something else I picked up on is the 17 introduced a slight reddish tinge in the darker parts of the image. It's not a deal breaker, but it did take extra editing to work around, whereas the 15 handled those shadows a bit more cleanly. Overall, the 17 does capture more of the cloud gas detail, but the 15 still feels sharper and more consistent for an Astro time-lapse. Right now for the Milky Way capture, I'd still pick the 15. I feel like the 17 does have a lot of potential, but it seems like a bit of a software limitation at the moment. Just like previous model iPhones, it comes out and it's a little underwhelming. But over time, Apple does release a lot of iOS updates and it does address some of these issues. Just like last year's model when we had the blue line, luckily this year we don't have that again. I'll be testing this after iOS updates, so if you want to see how it evolves, subscribe and stick around and you'll see just how the iPhone 17 Pro can capture the Milky Way.